most successful tech leaders actually spent less than 20% of their time coding. So what are they doing with the other 80%? This was a revelation that I discovered in my own career as a software engineer, which led me to a secret that had I known it sooner, it would have completely changed my entire life. And by the end of this video, I will show you what that secret is, why you should actually spend less time learning to code, and what you should do instead. I learned the secret that changed my life when I was in my third year of college. I had gotten my first real job in software engineering and I was making decent money while going to college. But something wasn't right. I started noticing that what I was learning in college wasn't really helping me at work. In fact, it felt like it was making things harder for me. This made me think, am I wasting my time at college? So I decided to focus more on my job than on my coursework. And guess what? In just eight months, I got promoted to a senior position at work, the fastest anybody ever had at my company. In this new position, I was doing less coding and more leading. I was in charge of making sure projects were done well, on time and with budget. And I was also helping junior developers and talking to various stakeholders of different companies. But the most crucial aspect was that none of this stuff was being taught in my college classes. That's when I realized something important. We're being prepared to fit into specific jobs like puzzle pieces designed to fit perfectly into a specific spot in a pre-made puzzle. We aren't being taught how to create our own puzzles, explore new designs, or think about how to put together a picture nobody has ever seen before. And that is the essence of what a successful software engineer is. This changed everything. I realized four years were wasted on learning something that would have taken me less than six months. And in fact, I now had to spend more time on learning the many things that I actually learned from college. Software engineering isn't about being a lone wolf nor is it about being the best programmer you can be. It's all about being able to work in a team environment on a constricted timeline. And it's not how well we can Google or find a solution on Stack Overflow, but it's more so about how we can come up with solutions to problems that aren't on Google or Stack Overflow, or how we can rearrange a certain solution to extract bits and pieces of it to apply to something else, an entirely different problem. But before we talk about what you should actually focus on instead of coding, we first have to understand why this happens in the first place. We know the disconnect between university and jobs, but what was the main cause of it? Well, the man who created the public education system, John D. Rockefeller, said, I want a nation of workers, not thinkers. From the very beginning, starting from kindergarten, you were being conditioned to work for somebody else, like a cog in the machine. Ask yourself, would you want to live this life? There are plenty of talented engineers who have been doing the same thing for over 40 years of their life and are masters at their own craft. But they all seem to fall short because they have pigeonholed themselves. How do they pigeonhole themselves, you might ask? Well, they are coding too much. As simple as that. You see, tech is always advancing. Similar to a doctor who needs to continually keep up to date with new medicines, as a software engineer, you must always be updated on the newest tech stacks to actually ensure you don't fall behind your junior developers. So what ends up happening, you get a job out of university, specialize in something, and since now you're invested in whatever you chose, whatever you chose to specialize in, you need to spend time keeping up to date and learning the best practices in that specific field. This takes time away from expanding your skill set beyond that, and when a time finally comes for you to move on to another job, you'll be applying for the same type of work at a different company with a slightly different pay. And as time goes on, you continually you repeat the cycle and are now pigeonholed. You become so reliant on a specific technology, a specific tech stack, a specific language, that to stand the test of time, you are pigeonholed into decades of doing the same thing over and over again without much purpose, growth, and of course, lack of wealth. The software engineering industry is set up in a very unique way. The market forces you to switch jobs every two years. This helps you move up and make more money, but you do not build any meaningful connections nor opportunities to truly grow your wealth. To understand what you should do instead of always coding, you first have to take a look at the bigger picture of every project you undertake. Don't just write code. Think about what the problem is it solves, who it serves, and how it can be improved. The mindset shifts from the focus of being more of an executor of specific tasks, like a cog in a machine, to a creator. You have to think beyond the code. In the context of software engineering, this means innovating, problem solving, and creating. Creation is the most fundamental power that we as software engineers have. And the education system and the work environment prevents us from actually leveraging the skill and letting it grow. I, for example, created AB Analytics 
a business analytics consulting firm helping businesses grow through data-driven decisions. I leveraged my knowledge of code to actually build AI and ML models to help me in analyzing large data sets to get the most optimal results. You can do the same exact thing. It does not matter what you create as long as you focus on creating something instead of just being a cog in a machine that simply codes for the sake of coding. Use your existing skill set to aid in the process of creation, but focus more energy on the creation process as a whole. Do not pigeonhole yourself into a mundane 9 to 5 position, constantly changing jobs every 2 to 3 years without growing at all as a person. We as software engineers have an overwhelming advantage in business and creation in general. We are capable of giving the world immense value and receiving immense wealth as a direct result of it. And to find out why this is the case, you need to check out this video over here. Thank you for watching.